What's up, everybody? I go by the name of Sly. And I'm Cardia the Dawn. And we want to encourage you guys to listen to The Melting Pot. Where we will release new episodes every Sunday discussing today's most hottest and controversial topics. Stirring up all things popular culture. And you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Brought to you by The, the Melting Pot. Pot. feel about your your partner ordering a dessert on a date um i'm thinking that they paying for it most time black people we go out to eat you know it's just just the food you might get an appetizer but you realize that we don't really do dessert at restaurants it's kind of weird okay how do you feel about him ordering a lemonade strawberry to be exact strawberry and lemonade I mean, if that's what he want to drink, that's what he's going to drink. Okay. How do you feel if your first date is a hookah lounge? I mean, that's a good first date. I like hookah. That means he put some thought into it, or he at least the nigga know I like hookah. Okay. How do you feel about while at the hookah lounge, he indulges in the hookah with you? Well, I don't expect him to just sit there. That's boring. You gotta be in the scene. You in the hookah lounge, smoke the damn hookah, bob to the music, eat the wings, and come on, let's turn up. How do you feel about a guy that goes to church every Sunday? He a church man. That's seen as respectable. How do you feel about a man that's a therapist? I mean, there are male doctors everywhere. A, a therapist in specific? There are a lot of male therapists. Okay, two more questions. How do you feel about a man that exfoliates? Now, I don't know. I'm going to say that's good skin practice. But like, you know, when I'm thinking of, you know, a masculine man, I don't really think, oh, yeah, that he fine. Oh, and he exfoliates. We don't think like that. I honestly think that it might be a little much. But like I'm saying, like, I ain't gonna get mad or think nothing of it if he exfoliates. I mean, just since good skin routine. Now, if I'm seeing red flags in the other places, then... Disclaimer. Disclaimer. I'm, I, I am reading that, but I don't even know what exfoliation is. So I can't tell you if I've done it or not. <laughs> you, don't, you know you did. You, you know what exfoliating is. No, I'm being so serious. So you use a exfoliate in rag, cloth, or like a pad, like makeup white type? All my rags came from Walmart. You, you know them little rough ones? Oh, yeah. Dollar. You don't exfoliate. But it, it's a special material that's really used to get, open up your pores, remove dead skin, like it scrapes it off your face. Like it's like a little scrubber, basically. So when you exfoliate, no it exfoliates food. the skin opens everything up so the moisture can really trap in and can get rid of dark spots, acne, if you do it like, you know, if you add it to your daily face routine and shit. Mm -hmm. I got three things in my tub. Bar soap, bottle wash, and the shower itself. So I ain't got all that extra shit. Um, how do you feel about a man that reads novels? Um... He educated, like you know, he he a little he a little deeper than what he may appear to be, or he could look like the type to be a reader, you know. Some people got that look, but it'd be the ones the ones that be you know a shot, maybe the cute ones. Well, hey, sisters, I'm Cartier the Don, and I'm Sly. And if you 
I have not figured out. No, we're not trying to do slide dating profiles, but all of these things and many more have been um, roped in into men that do them. Their sexuality has been questioned all because America has a problem with wanting the man to be too masculine. And if they do any of these things that I've just asked Sly and a plethora of more, they are deemed not masculine, um, homosexual, and a long list of other names. But sometimes there are men who naturally do live in their feminine energy and it don't make them like less of a man or make them weak or gay or nothing like that. They just, I don't want no feminine. Me neither. Why would you want a feminine man? Why would you want want a man that's not masculine? masculine woman that makes you feel like you... Any feminine man is kind of... Feminine and masculine like, really don't have a description yeah, as far as like not, what it looks it like in a physical yeah, we, like, yeah. we did that in society. Like this is a female, so she's supposed to be feminine, but feminine is an energy. Like yeah, yeah. So say like, you a man say, and you don't like you don't like chasing women, but you prefer women to chase you. That's a feminine, feminine right. that's yeah, a feminine characteristic, is. but a man can look masculine on the outside. Uh-huh. Yeah, that it is, is feminine. That is feminine. very much If you, you want to know what feminine you, energy is, it's go. Girl, go. If you expect a woman to pump the gas while you sit in the car, that's feminine. Yes. We made feminine and masculine like this, like this thing where if it's feminine, it's gay, or if it's masculine, it's like, it just really depends on who you are as a person. Yep. If you like to be pursued, that would be considered feminine, That, that but that doesn't make you less of a man just because you have more feminine qualities than masculine. Like men smoking either. hookah is, is them operating in feminine the, energy. I, I, guess <laughs> I definitely think so. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. Except for Africans. I can't say that. Because okay. Africans, like they're, they're the originators. The people out there in the Middle East. You don't want to see no street niggas smoking no hookah. They're not supposed to. Hell, they be pulling harder than, <laughs> than the females. The okay. feminine part about a man should be like you being spontaneous. You being romantic. Mm, you know, right. Yeah. 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 Being romantic is like that's the. Yeah, that is. Yeah. yeah. This is you yeah. operating in your femininity. Because you're adapting yeah. to the woman. You shouldn't. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. More feminine. You're adapting to us in a way. I like that. Yeah. I like it. The biggest one, the biggest red flag that bothered me throughout all of this, because I don't, I don't care about half the stuff I just mentioned. Like I said, I don't exfoliate. But um, I was watching <laughs> a TikTok, and they were talking about operating in your operating in feminine energy and we might insert the sound somewhere probably be right here but one of the girls was like yeah men smoking hookah is them operating in feminine energy and is that ignorance right there that's what's going to keep her single because I want her to take her her gray wig across the Saudi Arabia to where that stuff was, you know, started and tell one of those Muslim men at the, at their hookah lounge that they're operating in feminine energy. And let me know how that works out for you. Oh, light her ass up. Let me know how that works out for you. You go over there and tell them that they're operating in feminine energy. And I want to see how that works out for you. Because that's where hookah originated from. But the American culture has associated with the, oh, it, it comes with the girls trip in Miami. No, 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 no. That's not how that orig- originated. That's not how that originated. Um, Along with, since we're on the topic of hookah, you can't, apparently, you can't go to brunch. Because... Again, that's associated with all the baddies. All the baddies do brunch. Brunch in Miami. Fashion over fit. Get ready for me for brunch. But brunch is literally nothing but a culmination of breakfast and lunch. So you're telling me you don't expect your man to eat. You sound stupid. You you, you sound stupid. Right. It has nothing to do with gender. (laughs) It has nothing to do. It's about motherfucking eating. Right. Has nothing to do with your sexuality. I mean, because what's a masculine meal? Yeah, you do have the the steak and potatoes, but I was about to say, you yeah. expect somebody to eat that every day? 
You right. want Hector Man to be a Neanderthal? That's on you. That's on you. Like you sound stupid. Let's just play the, the logic game here. Let's let's take their logic. They don't want to see a man smoking hookah in that brunch, right? Because it's for women. Okay, we'll give you that. But here's what I'm gonna do for you. I don't want to see you in a wig. I don't want to see you in makeup. Because those were started back in the something hundreds by men. Men were wearing wigs back in the day. Yeah, George Washington. Yeah, men were wearing makeup back in the day. Right, they was wearing that. So by your logic, you were stood to me. You're operating in masculine right, energy. Right, right. So now... So now let, 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 let's take let's take your logic here. You're operating in masculine energy. You're a man. Seems like to me, in 2023, you and your boyfriend are a gay couple. He gay, you gay. I mean, y- you see how, how stupid and stupid sounds stupid? You see where I'm going here with that? Right. Yep, I get you. Right, right, because you're operating in stud energy, masculine energy, bulldaggy energy, when all you had to do was mind your business, because as, as long as your man ain't doing the bending or getting bent, <laughs> he, ain't, <laughs> he, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't gay, y'all worry y'all, y'all about the wrong thing, y'all worry about the wrong thing. As long as you don't walk in and see him hunched over and let another dude climb his back, you worrying about the wrong things, and that's what's keeping you single. You letting a lot you letting a lot of good guys go by because they're not fitting the masculine trope that you're expecting. They're not fitting the narrative that you want. And so you wonder why you're single. You wonder why you keep getting cheated on. You wonder why you, you arguing with Asia and Keisha because the guy that you want I ain't hitting on nothing. And the guys that God had sent for you, you letting them go. Because you went about the wrong thing. But, again, let's go back to that masculine energy that you operating in. When, we, when you go to clubs and lounges, what do you see? You see girls dancing on each other. Girls grinding on each other. And it becomes a problem when a guy even tried to join in on the girl on girl, somebody's operating in some masculine energy around this motherfucker, ain't they? Because back in the day, the clubs was guys danced on guys danced with girls and vice versa. It won't know you you slapping another girl ass at the club. It's not how that went back in the day. So it's like, I feel like the agenda here is to erase the man by this this logic that we're operating in. Or am I tripping? Am I the only one who don't see the problem? Or am I just tripping? Cause you know sometimes you know my I be be a little wild out there you know theories don't you know so let me let me help me understand. Nah, because this really all this blowing me right now. Like it's is is eye opening because I had never heard about this. I didn't know that this was a, a quote unquote thing. Like y'all as men are really getting chastised for smoking hookah and smoking hookah. They don't want a man right, to order dessert, dessert, drink lemonade. Drink wine, bitch. Why drink wine? We love wine. Wine is amazing. I want everybody to feel wine drunk. Why are we associating that with what the hell people want to? It's number five for me. Eat a salad. Yo, this is wild. Y'all got to be better out here, ladies. Come on. I really did not know any of this. Like, where the fuck I live? So you don't want him to eat a salad. You don't want him to have a good face routine. Okay. Apparently, exfoliating is the the scrubbing of the skin. I don't do that personally, but you don't want your man to exfoliate. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess I can't. I don't even know what the hell that is. I still don't. 
So does that mean like, okay, because you know like sometimes like you take a shower and like the dead skin cells be at the top of your skin like rolled over, that would get rid of that? That's a sign you need to exfoliate. But yeah, that's 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 usually yeah. what they mean. Just get that off. <laughs> like, you see, growing up, growing up, back in the day, growing up, I was taught, "Oh, you still dirty? Get back in the shower." But then when I got to school, they was just like, "Oh no, that's just dead skin." You know what happened? Man, y'all taking two hour showers. <laughs> growing up, we took bleach baths. You know that that helps oh, with the must. Okay, with the must. Well, That's probably when I was getting exfoliated. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Slide on get musty. I don't know what well, none of that is. But I got a friend that do. Oh wait, ex friend. Oops. <sighs> Not a friend that gets musty. Okay, Cartier. So I'm 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 interested. Like, I mean, like. This is crazy. Even the church thing, like, I don't get that at all. Like, how is going to church? Well, that's because, like, most men in the church are homosexual. Because if you look at the next one, it was like singing the sing in church. Most men in the choir are homosexual. Mm-hmm. So... I understand why that one is, but I mean, honestly, not all men at the church are gay. Right. Right. That's crazy. People are so ignorant. <laughs> That's That's... Ig- like, why are you so damn this... ignorant? And this list, what I'm getting from this list is that a lot of a lot of these people are single, never experienced real love, never going to experience a real soft love because what you're expecting is a caveman that's what you're expecting like to be to be openly depressed is a woman's trait and by the way for the people who are who are listening but don't understand the things that i'm reading on there's a list composed of things that straight men cannot do so i'm literally reading to you a list of things that women have said they don't want their man to do. I need to be sent this list because, like, I just need to see and read this with my own eyes. Like, because I'm really, like, like, be fucking for real. Y'all serious? Like, yeah, like, you can't be into one, one person don't want you to be into sports and another person don't want you to be too into sports. I associate being a therapist. I remember you said that earlier. I associate there being when I think therapist, I automatically think male. I don't know why. I don't really see that being a soft or a feminine thing, like you know, a career. Like I don't, I don't get that. I, 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 I see a white man in a cardigan. However, yeah, what yeah, I, like a white man in a cardigan with some breathing glasses on. Like, yeah, totally. I went to therapy. They were going to give me a man. But I requested a woman, not because of the top of my hand, but I requested a woman solely because I felt like I could, I don't know, I just felt more comfortable talking about a, with a woman than with a man. But I, mean, I, I, I miss my therapist. She she was great. I think I miss her because the things I used to say in therapy, I used to stump that lady because she used to be like, <sighs> like she, she, she didn't know what to say. And I do believe that she was generally listening because she would come back with the things that I've said at the top. You know, some people come up with things that you said at the end. So I know that she was listening, but she would generally be stumped by the things that I would say. But yeah, like, uh, what else is on the list? Drunk water is on the list. Date a woman with short hair. Apparently you can't cook with any other methods other than grilling. Not to mention that's bad for you. Like my barbecuing is really kind of bad for you in our lungs and we eat that. Who the fuck was well, he grilling all, me all the goddamn like, time? As long as you eat it in moderation. Like me personally, I only eat barbecue when it's barbecue holidays. You know what I'm saying? Fourth of July, Memorial Labor, all them, them little holidays. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the only time I'm really eating barbecue. Like who just eat? Barbecue, you're right. But it's bad for you because, you know, those coals got so much chemicals on it. And then you put that, then you put that um, lighter fluid on it, which... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Hey, I don't know they're vegan coals. If not, we should kill them. But I hate, like, when barbecue tastes like barbecue. Like, you ever had barbecue that tastes like coals and um, lighter fluid? 
Like, well, it can taste like coals, but if it tastes like that lighter fluid, you can taste that. That's it tastes like how the light, lighter fluid smell, which means they didn't put too much on it. I think we talked about like the fruity drink one before. Like, I remember that kind of being like a like a top a while back. Like, not everybody want that hard shit all the time. Like, why can't you just get drunk? But do it in a more delicious way. Like, not everybody want all that fucking Hennessy all the goddamn time. Casamigo all the goddamn time. The shit don't taste good anyway. Y'all really just be doing whatever to get drunk. Like, I mean, I get it, but you know. Toxic masculinity is going to be just like the death of all, a lot of people. Because like I said, you're focusing your energy on the wrong thing. Like, we, we all like different things. We're all interested in different things. That's what makes us human. Like, who wants one person? Like, the people, the ladies that made this list, I'm pretty sure don't keep their hair the same way. I'm pretty sure they're interested, some of them are interested in ATV riding, dirt biking, going fishing, probably got a gun under the bed. You know what I'm saying? So you like different things. Right, we could be different. Why can't y'all be different? Yeah, like y'all be tragic. Ain't gonna be forever single, passing up good people. Because some of these hype masculine folks that y'all are chasing after, them the real gay ones. Let's talk about that. They're the ones you gotta worry about. Especially living here, you never know. Right, so why y'all thinking y'all got y'all something now? I'm your host, Cartier the Dawn. I'm Sly. And this has been The Melting Pot. Be sure to follow us on our social medias at... You can follow us on Instagram at The Real Melting Pot. That's T-H-E-E, Real Melting Pot. You can follow us on Twitter at The Melting Pot 16. <laughs> follow us on YouTube and Facebook at The Melting Pot Podcast. Okay.